years ago, California was hit by a exceptional dangerous drought. Now, the last winter or two, there's been mudslides. What's been the course of it? Find out. Hello guys, it is Stormboy13. Oh, I've still got my headphones on. Listen to music, huh? Um, yes. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's been on the news a lot over the last few days. Um, I mean, there has been the good news, and there's also been some bad news. As we know, as I just mentioned before the intro, the good news is that California's drought has well, the worst of the droughts has finally subsided. It actually subsided about, uh, not long ago actually, about less than a year ago. Uh, they have had about two to three times more rain than usual. But sadly though, with the extended dry period and then the sudden new fresh rainfall that has been falling down across the parched grounds, so see, there's like this little substance or something, I'm not, I can't remember what it was, but we're going to find out. It's not like fossil, but it's something like, in the mud that once it gets so soaked and hasn't like it's been like so dry for several years it soaks up too instantly and then it creates like I don't know with the extended drought period um, we're gonna find out because I, I I'm not really great at describing things but what I do know is that's been causing more dramatic mudslides than usual that has been causing like 23 deaths I think it was in California even that has cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage uh, not, not surprisingly it's caused passages and damaged homes as well but we'll find out the exact cause of how these uh, disastrous mudslides can create such terrible consequences now, I'm on a website, the New York Times. Now, every time I usually go on there, it apparently doesn't let me. Maybe it's depending to another country. But I've gone through from another... Well, it's just gone from Google instead of just... It was on Facebook, whatever. But I went through from Google and it seemed to have let me respond to it this time. Anyways, now we know the course. I wasn't too sure uh, initially, but I know the California mudslides... There's been a lack of rainfall over there. I don't know what mountain's called. Again, we may... Um, learn from that as the video progresses. This is the direction of the mudslides where all the rain has been falling down to across the I-192 into the city of Monticelito. I think that's in California presumably uh, and addresses um, where deaths have been reported so it's kind of scattered around um, let's say 10 to 20 miles wide maybe um, maybe 30 or 40 uh, I don't know but that's just the uh, presumable fact so that's uh, and it looks like this has been taken near the coast as well, so more like local areas, maybe not so, such, uh, not so bad, but yeah, five ten miles away from the seaside, yeah, unfortunately they've pulled a bunch of it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting into habit. So, anyways, back to the main bit is, uh, this is what we know, um, as the boulders, rocks and cement thick mud began tumbling down the mountains near Montecito in California last week, uh, the residents were shocked at the ferocity. So by the time the storm had passed, uh, at least 20 people had died and hundreds of homes have been destroyed. Geologists and officials in Santa Barbara say it is still too early to know precisely how and why last week's mudslides became so lethal. Lethal, let's say, but they're already studying satellite imagery to help it determine the path to deadly debris in the hopes that understanding what happened will prevent similar calamities in the future. But global warming uh, could it even be worse, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is 20 miles 
Uh, Montecito, probably where the worst of the mudslide has been affecting, like 100 miles away from Los Angeles. So, uh, wildfires at Lumenek in December had charred much of the hills in the area, burning a crap hill, trap hill all along the foothills. Fire effectively had changes to soil. There you go, it's been caused by wildfires as well, back in December, and then the floods, so... Nice climate for the California. Um, fire fixed we know changed the soil, is making it more slippery and far more prone to erosion and healthy land. So it was pretty rare in essence, like a worst case scenario. Uh, from the standpoint, said Jonathan Gotts, uh, an expert landslide hazard for the United States Geological Survey. The same rainfall that falls on a burnt landscape apparently can cause a lot more damage than it would be for a fire. Probably how much it soaks in and then... Yeah, that's just how um, so severe the impacts can be. So this is before, uh, I know this has been filmed on the camera, but just imagine this is a forest, nice sunny clear day, no harm. This was after, yeah, half of the acres look completely destroyed. Sorry you can't see it clearly, but yeah. Yeah, there is a difference. Um, while commonly called mudslides, scientists um, refer to them um, as debris flows. The scientific term to describe what is flowing downhill, the hills above Montecito are filled with small channels less than a metre wide, and these channels can quickly become overwhelmed during a powerful storm. So these channels fill fast when everything is moving at once. Things just start coming down and getting faster and picking up material, Mr. Goff said. It's like a snowball effect and it has no mo uh, like it has to move. Um, so then as the debris moved downhill, Mr. Gobb said, I'm sorry if I pronounced something wrong, but they have grown both in volume and momentum and are more destructive as they move toward things we care about. So the water combined with debris makes it possible to transport something very large, much farther and much faster, Mr. Goff said, adding that he was reluctant to criticise the county and the emergency officials uh, are not forcing more evacuations because such flows are definitely impossible to predict. Uh, that's about it. Pretty intense stuff. Um, so at least 20 people we know have died from the mudslides. Uh, swept over the past Southern California early this week. In Clinton packed in the same area that was ravaged in December by the Thomas fire. The state's largest wildfire record that is 100% contained. Um, so we know many of the mudslide deaths have occurred in Montecito, Santa Barbara County. An area in northwest Los Angeles, home to celebrities Ellen DeGrenis, Rob Lowe and Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Surgeon and rescue efforts are still underway. Amber Anderson, the Public Information Office for the Santa Barbara Office for Emergency Services, told Fox News and at least three people are still missing, according to a statement from the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office. Um, so as we know, uh, set self focusing on dam determining if anyone is still alive in any of these structures that have been damaged. Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown said, according to Associated Press, in addition to the deaths of missing persons, several homes were destroyed from the mudslides, which were sparked after torrential rains caused flash flooding in the San Sebastian Mountains. The flooding caused mud and debris to slide down from wildfire charred hillsides that are stripped of vegetarian, eventually reaching the communities below. So, in light of the recent mud, uh, yeah, mudslides, this is what you need to know. So, you know why mudslides occur. Uh, we know this debris flows or type of landslide can occur after a natural disaster such as a wildfire. Debris flows often contain mud, rock and other materials. Uh, human modification of land can also make certain slopes and steep areas vulnerable to landslides during and after heavy rains. According to the Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, which estimates that roughly 25 to 50 people die each year in the United States because of land and mudslides. But mudslides can also occur without a wildlife preceding it. According to Francis Ringers, a research geologist of the United States Geological Survey, USGS, the science agency from the Department of Inter. In this particular case, you had a large amount of rain and a burn area that didn't m need much to get going in the first place, Ranger said. So a few different factors contributed to debris flows in Southern California, David Peterson, a professor of forest ecology at the University of Washington, told Fox News, Thomas Fire, which burned more than 280,000 acres and primarily affected Fanichur, Manicito, Carmelita and Santa Barbara counties, among others, removed all of the living and dead vegetation that protected the soil beneath. Peterson said the land quickly eroded when there was no vegetarian to hold it in place. 
So the flowers are also hard enough to cook out the organic matter in the soil, which helps the earth to absorb water when it rains. If so we add five or more inches of water in a day or so, it doesn't bother the impact of rain or soil. He said, adding that the soil had also became very hot from the wildfires. This results in so-called hydrophobic effects, which causes the soil to repel water. So additionally, different soil texture can also affect the severity of mudslides. Peterson says, for the current situation, however, Peterson added that the upper layer of soil got so saturated by the rain that it became like jello and just flowed downhill. So where do they occur? So mudslides typically occur in areas with steep hillsides, gulls and other narrow channels that make it easy for rain, mud and debris to flow through. Much like the terrain of Southern California, Peterson said these gullies and other passageways form over millions of years. In the west, the rains always come in the winter, flow downhill and create these big drainages, he said. While Peterson acknowledged the devastation that the mudslides have caused, uh, he said that occurrence is a natural phenomenon. While the statural extent of this larger big mudslides are normal, this has happened for millions of years, he said. Um, is there anything we can do to prevent or stop mudslides? No, I'm sorry. There's nothing to prevent the magnitude of these events, Peterson said. Well, damage might catch some of the sediment, he said. The structures wouldn't be much use for a mudslide of this size. It's currently unclear if the Thomas fire made the mudslides worse. Peterson suspects not, but Ranger said that USGS is working on figuring that out. Basically, the really high rainfall rates are what controlled by the really large response that we saw. And the damage inflicted by debris flows is proportional to the rainfall, Ranger said. So what can people do to protect themselves? Peterson cautioned those who chose to live beneath still steep hillsides in Southern California. There are many homes at the bottom of these steep drainages, but at some point mudslides will happen, he said. He explained what well, when people choose to build their homes at the bottom of these steep drainages, they decide to take on the risk because they think there's no probability if mudslides will happen to them. So most of these structural style homes that are popular in California don't have basements or stub floors, meaning they have relatively little defence against the powerful mudslides. Since many of the structure homes are placed on top of a cement slab, the soil for the mudslides way more than the house. The result, the homes because like a little boat in the bathtub, he said. These are natural risks that people need to think about. Uh, Peterson said that most people would have better luck defending their home from a fire than a mudslide. Indeed, in 2014, debris and mud from a mudslide in Oslo, Washington covered a square mile in roughly 20 seconds, Peterson said. Rangers caution people who do have homes in these areas to heed all evacuation warnings. If they don't evacuate and not stuck, they should try contacting local authorities, he said. So in anticipation of wildfires, California authorities are ordered evacuations beneath the burned areas of Santa Barbara, Venice, and Los Angeles counties, but many people ignored the warning until it was too late. Sadly, 10 to 15% of people in a mandatory evacuation area in Santa Barbara County heeded the warning. So there we go, that's all we have. So you learn something new every day. So basically, what I now, I didn't know this initially, but what I know now is um, mudslides can actually occur worse when there's dry parched ground and from the wildfires that has been affecting like parts of the soil and the erosion, uh, creating these um, quite intense mudslides and the debris flow. And as you know, you can't stop them because you can't really stop them for nature at all. So, um, yeah, quite serious stuff um, in California at the moment. Um, thing is, go from one extreme to the other you just want the perfect uh, climate but some places you just can't get them like uh, you can't like Indian goes from drought to uh, monsoons so that's one of the examples of these countries um, and yeah what's gonna happen for the rest of the year it's already been a very dramatic start to the year for some of the places in this world what's the next few months gonna be like stay tuned that's all I can say thanks for watching though guys um, as we know uh, you, there's been a double upload today. I've already just uploaded the UK uh, weekly weather uploads. That's going to be uploaded every Wednesday, uh, basically, um, of the weather we've had throughout the week. Uh, but as always, if you want me to do any more Extreme UK weather events, club weather forecasting, weather vlogging, or any other stuff, just comment below. I can see what I can do for you. So, yeah. Um, that's all I've got to tell you guys. Hope you learned something new about it. Um, I didn't, so. Hope it goes for you. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep keep stay tuned to my channel for more content in the future. Storms now out.